This is Britain first. A far right extremist group is having one of its annual gatherings in Rotherham to protest against what they would call child sex grooming gangs. What do we want? No more Mainly by Muslims. It's bullshit, bro. They're coming down there trying to say we have to get out of our city and all that, bro. You know what I mean? Don't look at me. Basically, they all stink. Yes, they agree. Tell me over there, do you agree it's all about it? Don't ask me. What's so great about being white? Uh, free fish and chips, uh, bacon and ham. Dirty bastard. Right, what we're going to do? First person who stands up, so rotten egg, all right? Understood. Oh, you know what? Fuck this. Oh, yeah, fuck oh this. Kamal, what are you doing, bro? Oh. What are you all doing? You're yeah, the fucking off. game, yeah, you I'll dickheads. You Bunch of little dirty bastards. Oh, be quiet, ma'am. Oh, I'm going to go through fish and chips. Take your shop We back. also have lots Dirt of hands. Tell me what Britain First is. Britain First is Black a tower power. that's falling. Falling Black just like down. the statues of uh, Winston Churchill Fuck and um, all the other people who we, we, we really hold close in Britain. Did you show a Muslim walking down the street Speak that is your duty as a fellow Englishman to stop that Muslim yeah. walking down your street? These stupid dickheads were not going to stop until they have their goal finally reached. Now, we don't give two shakes of a nun's cunt. You have to leave. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's because we want to leave, isn't it? Okay. To our Muslim friends, we want to offer you an extended thing and offer you some of our free hands. It's a good thing. Yeah. Some people are saying you used to be a pedo. A long time ago, yes. And like, why was you a pedo? What are you talking about? Being a pedo is just something you're interested in, you know what I mean? Speak on it, bro. If you had a cow or something and you offer me, me, you know, a a little bit of chance to have sex with it, I might just do the cow. Fucking Muslims. Fucking, oh shit, my boss is probably going to see this. Fucking Muslims. We We are EDL. We think Muslims Muslims smell. smell. We We all smell the links. While we don't like cheat. EDL are the racist group. Same with with BNP. How can you say we're racist? Britain first, they aren't. How can you say that the other racist though? Because they are. And now, have you got proof? Well, all over Twitter. We're not racist. We all are. <laughs> this little noncy looking cunt is one of the people who belongs to Britain first. A page that has 900,000 followers on his Facebook page. Even followed by David Cameron. Britain first is leagues ahead of any of the political movements in this country and we take out our sexual frustrations on this I've slide. I've been through it all. I've been through sexual intercourse with all of them. Giving blouse jobs, hand jobs, hand sanitation jobs. Oh, wanks. Oh, boy. The wanks are all right. Our reporter was about to go and spend some time on the other side of the fence. Spent some time with the good guys in this Stop situation who were there to mainly bro. peacefully protest the that, until all that the came place. to a stop. Hey, what was going on earlier, right, bro? I was going over there to meet me bro, yeah, and he was like, I'll meet you in about 15 minutes. It, I'm just going to quickly make a sandwich and then we go down to this march and all that. But I realise I get there and I'm like, no, because there's a, a bunch of these little horrible racists all around and they're bro. all going to be there trying to record it, you know what I mean? I know exactly what he was talking about, as I've been on the front line of many marches myself. But these guys were artists, and they knew how to spell everything properly, at least on the second board. Like I was saying bro, before about me, bro, he came up after they made the sandwich, right? And he was like, we need to go down to this march and sort this shit out. And I was like, wait a minute, bro. I just need to go upstairs and just wash me hair a little bit. And you know what? I was like, fuck it, let's get down there right now. I'm going to smash these li- We get the point, brother. The next person you're about to see is a Scouse Muslim. I've had enough of the cunts who use that sort of language, you know what I mean? I moved to Rotherham 30 years ago when I've been having a fucking great time round here. But not every Muslim felt the same way. The fellow you were talking to before, mate, he's one of the worst for it. He's the one who's been instigating all this stuff every time the white people go past. He's fucking throwing eggs at them out the window, calling them for all kinds and all that stuff, mate. So if you want to ask someone else, it's better to go and ask him. And that's exactly what we did next. If you want to talk to me about that Muhammad saying that I've been throwing eggs at all these people, I haven't done shit. I've been living here, I, I keep myself to myself. Mm. It does, yeah, it does to be fair. It's happening, boys. It's Someone give me a flag over here, mate. It's yeah, all good to be white and British, isn't it? Yeah, it's cracking. I'm serious, give me a flag. <laughs> Turns out they're actually all big fans of the people themselves. Uh, Do us a favour. Uh, right, go and put a fucking mask on. There's fucking Covid all around here, you stupid cunt. <laughs> I'm not good. I'm not good.
So why it is, mate, it's that fucking fellow with his little haircut and all that. And that woman who's like, oh, my perfect tent and all that. She's gorgeous. More power to you, mate, especially with your corned beef face. That's probably a little bit out of order myself. But I didn't mean it to be racist. It was just last night I was up all night looking at the Britain First fan page. And I think it's actually leaked over into my skin. Right, let's type in tits. Oh, right, look. Look what showed up on YouTube first when you type tits. Ah. Muslims threaten me. I'm someone who used to be in Britain first. And you know what? I had a bit of a bad time when I was starting it, mate. It was an absolute fucking nightmare. And uh, people like to know where did it all, you know, where did it all start? I was walking through park, seen this little coloured lad on a bike. It's and racist said, Oi, to say coloured, Give me know. that bike right now. And he's like, I won't give you a fucking bike. I'll give you a fucking black eye. Well, you know what I probably said back to him, don't you? Something about his physical appearance, basically, anyway. Um, and it kind of started from that first, you know, we got into an altercation, and then after that, I just couldn't stand anyone who weren't white, mate. And did you have any foreigners trying to take your job? Yeah, well, I had a job in Burger King for about 15 years until I was replaced by this Muslim fella. I'm actually a Muslim. And Well, I used to flip the burgers myself and, I'd, you know, dish out the fries. And uh, people liked my services, mate. Everyone started complaining when the Muslims came. Britain First like to use something people call Photoshop to change images to say one thing and then eventually say something else. Here's somebody who was a victim of such an attack. Now, what was happening uh, at the time was I was uh, vilified and scrutinised against my, myself because of uh, these guys called Britain First who had basically doctored an image of myself to make it look I'm like, you know, saying some goddamn racist shit, you know, like I'm trying to eradicate the white race and all that shit. So anyway, after dealing with these crackers for enough time, I was like, man, fuck this shit. We caught a reporter in the middle of stalking his girlfriend on Facebook. After we caught him, he tried to switch it to a screen or something else, but we knew what was going on. The next video sent in to us was from Kev's Cabs. He's a guy from Liverpool. Why are you Muslims always driving out the little fizz bombs? Fuck Why do you afford the real car or something like that? Fuck Come and off. get in Kev's cab, I'll give it for you. For that cheap if you want it, you know. Get what the are you fuck fucking throwing stuff for? Get the fuck out of here now, bro. What? You fucking out, chill out. Little prick. Wanker, fucking, bro. Fuck Wanker. off, don't suck you. This is uh, Kev's cab's page into an overnight success. Unfortunately, he had to stay racist. Yeah, you know what? You can all go back to where you came from, you fucking slag. Muslims! Like, what's your opinion on, like, the, all the racism and all that stuff and that? Because, like, I kind of see it like vinegar, you know what I mean? Like, it's not the worst thing when there's a little bit, but when there's a lot of it, it tastes horrible. I, I'm aware that my feet smell... Uh, don't cover your nose, mate. Does this look like a moon you might like? <laughs> uh, yes. And what about these moons? Do these moons look like something you might want to fuck? I would not like to fuck them, No. You heard about them Muslims by mine? I heard about 35 of them moving into an astronaut. Oh, it's ridiculous, isn't it? I've had enough of them. Now, I was speaking to that girl you'd all said you'd had sex with and all that. Whenever, right. whenever. Right, no, let me well, finish, right? She said that she used to call you the Britain First Warriors. Warriors. Exactly. Yeah. I said, you all pinned her down and you're all bummed yeah. her, but she let yeah. you bum her six times anyway, and it yeah, weren't actually absolutely. rape and she enjoyed it. I said you'd had sex with a cat. No. Because Winston Churchill cares for me in a dream and said I could fuck a cat if I felt it. I'm sure she'd feel a different way. This little slag had had more penises up her vagina than tampons. Half of the state of the UK had actually had to turn the piece go with her and she wasn't afraid to hide it. Well, she did want people to know that she wasn't Answer a victim. Me this then, yeah? You said you're not actually a slag, but you are a slag. I'm not actually a slag. I'm just a girl who chose some of the wrong paths. And these people toss me around like salad, you know what I mean? Would you fuck me, though? Of course, yeah. What's worse, yeah, is she just gave him a wank in front of me? Oh, right, Bad I'm wank! Else, I'll just leave it. Uh, can you see me, Bob? Georgie, 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 